that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, thou hast conceived in iniquities and in sins to be the here. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the unknown and hidden things of thy wisdom, as thou made known unto me. Thou shalt give me the piss up, and I shall be cleansed. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt cause me to hear joy and gladness, and the bones that have been humbled shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot up all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not the Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, and establish me with a ruling spirit. I will teach transgressors thy ways, and when God shall return to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, and God of my salvation. And my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall return thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, thou art given it. Thou wilt not be pleased with all thy offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humble heart, God will not despise. Enjoy the Lord in thy good pleasure and design, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shall thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, for the relation of all thy offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. By thy cross thou dost destroy death, and the thief thou dost open paradise. For the murderers thou dost change weeping into joy. And thou dost command thy disciples, O Christ God, to proclaim that thou art risen, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The holy apostles intercede with our merciful God, that he may grant to our souls the remission of transgressions, now and ever, and unto ages of ages on them. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine, who is budded forth the fruit of life. We entreat thee, O Sovereign Lady. Intercede together with the holy apostles that he may be merciful to our souls. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy moral, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy moral, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy moral, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. <coughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and earth is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. The dominion of death can no longer hold them captive, for Christ is slain, shattering and destroying his powers. Hell is bound, but the prophets rejoice and cry, and the Savior has come to those in faith. Enter ye faithful into the resurrection. Lord of mercy, 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 Thou who at every season and every hour of heaven and on earth are worship and glorify in Christ our God, who are long suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who love us the just and show us mercy upon the sinner, who follow us to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels, the guided and guarded by their hosts, and we maintain to the unity of the faith, and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory, for blessed are thou to ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More, <clears throat> more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compared than the seraphim, without corruption, I gave birth to God's word. 
Choice of the bank for some years dispensation. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. As we have no boldness on account of the multitude of our sins, the virgin Theotokos, who deceived the dim was born of thee, and much more is the prayer of a mother able to imply in the master unto us, unto kind heartedness, despite not the supplication of sinners, O dear one, for mercies and strong to say, do you come and send it to suffer for us? Let thy compassions quickly go before us, O Lord. We are blessed to you, O Lord. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins. For thy name's sake, Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, who have us from our sins, pardon our transgressions, Holy One, visit and heal our for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Pray for most of us, Master. I am the kingdom of power, the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and unto the age of the faith. Amen. The dominion of death can no longer hold men captive, for Christ descended, shattering and destroying his powers. Hell is bound while the prophets rejoice and cry. Savior has come to those that in faith, to be faithful into the resurrection. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Both thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, who art long suffering, merciful and compassionate, and love us just and show us mercy upon the sinner, call us all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels that guide and be guarded by their hosts. We maintain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thy unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without question, thou gave us birth to God the Word. The truth, Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. The prayers of our most blessed Master, O Lord, Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. O God of the Lord of hosts and author of all creation, who in thine ineffable and tender mercy has sent down, thine only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, the salvation of our kind, and through his precious cross has borne out the record of our sins. Thereby we triumph over the princes and dominions of darkness. Be thou, O Master, who loves mankind, accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication, even from us sinners, to deliver us from the darkness of every transgression, and from all the invisible and invisible enemies that seek to do us harm. Nail down our flesh with the fear of thee, and let us not, not our hearts incline to evil words or thoughts, but rather wound our souls with thy love, and ever gave thee and fondly guided by thy light. May you open me the eternal light that no man can approach. We may offer up unceasing praises and thanksgiving unto thee, the Father without beginning, together with thine only begotten Son, and thine whole holy good, life giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bless Master, blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of God and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Oh, uh -huh.
Treasurer of Metropolitan T. Con, for his grace, Bishop Alexis, for the humble priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray for the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the right and reverend abbot of this holy monastery, our commander at Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ, let us pray for the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray for the Lord. Side and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, and for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have Necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Liberating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theodokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our Lord. Oh, 
give strength to his people. The Lord shall bless his people with peace. The Lord shall give strength to his people. The Lord shall bless his people with peace. Offer to the Lord, O ye sons of God. Offer young rams to the Lord.
Then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself, and is not rich toward God. Grant these things, 
and show us thy compassion and mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We pray for now and send benefactors to help us build a new home for the monastics of this community so that we might pay off the loan as soon as it is possible. We pray thee, grant this and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord.
Onesimus, bishop of Bethesda, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. The most blessed Tikon, Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of all America and Canada, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, Always, now, and ever, and on the ages of the ages. President, all those in civil authority, and those who serve in the armed forces, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. All those who teach, learn, and work in the seminary, the sick, the suffering, captives in their salvation, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. All our departed fathers and brethren who lie here throughout the world asleep in the Lord, the benefactors and beautifiers of this holy habitation, may the Lord God remember his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. You and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Thanks for 
for the bread, judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, O Lord. Memorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Give thanks unto the 
place, bright and divine, the world of light to move. O the first to remember, Lord, his grace, Bishop Alexis, Bishop of Bethesda, grant him for thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, rightly to divide the word of thy truth.
the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to God. In today's Gospel passage, a rich man made what he believed was a glorious discovery. Almost by accident, this man ran headlong into peace. He ran into peace, or so he thought. The ground brought forth plentifully, and the man dealt with the bumper crop by increasing storage capacity. And at once, he felt that magnificent, unmistakable peace, or so he thought. He even triumphantly announced it to his own soul, so profound was the peace. Take thy knees, he said wistfully. Such a luxuriating peace left him in a mood to feast and to celebrate. The moment demanded it, or so he thought. If something sounds a little funky to you about the peace in this rich man's story, it should. The peace he found is the peace as the world gives, not true peace, not true peace. For you see, just before the proclamation of the Gospel reading today, we heard from St. Paul quite explicitly that Christ is our peace. Jesus is our peace. This is the true peace that the rich man should have been looking for, the peace we all should be looking for, not as the world gives, but Christ himself. Unfortunately, as we heard, the rich man isn't making merry in the Gospel reading because he's discovered Jesus. No, instead, he's celebrating because he's just made a little extra room for an abundance of fruits, having just constructed new barns. Rather than selfless, selflessly distribute this fruit, the extra yield, to his neighbors, to those in need, the rich man has selfishly chosen to store it up for his own future use. Now, we can cast dispersions at the rich fool, but before we do so, I have to ask how many of us are exactly the same way? Let's consider that for a moment. We inhabit a land that is dominated by greed and excess. That's no surprise. And this coming weekend will be the perfect example. Your average American might not be looking for peace in bumper crops and fresh new barns, but he might expect to find it in a shopping cart filled with doorbuster deals at midnight. Or, especially given the coronavirus, she might expect peace to be delivered to her, her doorstep with free two-day shipping, no less. For so many people in our society, the Four Feasts of Cyber Monday has already begun. Or, if you're old-fashioned, the Four Feasts of Black Friday. But that man-made feast day will never be able to deliver the peace that all of our hearts are aching for, especially in a year like this one. The acquisition of stuff will never bring us true and lasting peace, whether that stuff is a new iPhone, or a new PlayStation 5, or even if it's a whole library of Orthodox books, or a full wall of icons from your favorite ortho shop. I'm sorry, but, but the stuff is not peace. Again, St. Paul said it. Our peace is a person. Our peace is our God. Jesus Christ. He will always be our peace. Whether we realize it or not, whether we like it or not. And if 2020 has treated you anything like it's treated me, and like it's treated the people that I'm close to, the people that I love, I know that you know that what you need is true peace. So give away your excess to those who need it more. Don't put your hopes in larger barns, or full shopping carts, or cardboard boxes on your doorstep. Instead, remember Christ, our peace from heaven.
And as we will hear not too long from the choirs of angels, our peace on earth as well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to God.
liturgy at 8 o'clock, and then at, in the evening at 7 p.m. it will be the Akathos, glory to God for all things. Um, again, we are we rejoice today in the first liturgy of uh, Father Panagiotis, our newly ordained priest. Um, we all can ask, wish many years of uh, blessed service uh, for the vineyard. And we'll have a little evidence to say down to follow the To the mother of God, she used to be here following the veneration of the cross. Glory to you, our God, and glory to you, our God, glory to you, our God. I thank you, Lord my God, for thou hast not protected me as sinner that is being the worthy of thee, for keeper of thy holy I thank thee, for thou hast committed me the unworthy to commune thy most pure and heavenly gifts. Ask to love this man time, who for our sake this eye arise again. And gave us us the dread life giving mysteries for the good and sanctification of our souls and bodies. Let them be for the healing of soul and body, and the atoning of every adversary, the illumining of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual powers, of faith, unashamed of love, unfailing of the fullness of wisdom, the observing of thy commandments, the receiving of thy divine grace, and the attaining of thy kingdom. Preserve by them in thy holiness. May I always remember thy grace and live no longer for myself, but for thee, our master and benefactor. Passing from this life and the hope of eternal life, may I attain to the everlasting rest, where the voice of those in peace is unceasing, and the sweetness of those who behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance is unending. For thou art the true desire and the ineffable joy of those who love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation sings thy praise forever. Honor, O Master Christ our God, King of the ages, maker of all things. I thank thee for all the good things thou hast given me, especially for the communion of thy most pure and life-giving mysteries. I therefore pray thee, O gracious lover of man, preserve me under thy protection beneath the shadow of thy wings. Enable me, even to my last breath, to partake worthily of the secure conscience of thy holy beings, for the remission of sin and unto life eternal. Thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of all good, and to thee we send up glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the of ages. Amen. Freely thou hast given me thy body for my food, for thou who art fire consuming the unworthy. Let me not be consumed, though my creator, but instead enter into my joints, all my members, my reins, my heart. Consume the thorns of my transgression. Cleanse my soul and sanctify my reasoning. Make firm my joints and bones, and do in my five senses. Nail down the hold of me to the fear of thee. Always protect, guard, and keep me, console, destroying words and deeds. Then me, purify me, and adorn me. Give me beauty, understanding, and illumination. Show me to be the dwelling of thy spirit alone, and not the dwelling of sin. May every evil deed, every carnal passion, flee from me as from the fire, as I become thy house through communion. I offer thee as intercessors, all the saints, the leaders of the body and the souls, the forerunner, the forerunner of the wise apostles, and my spirit of the Father. Accept their prayers in thy love, O my Christ, and make me thy servant, the child of life. For thou art the only sanctification and brightness of our souls, O good one. And to thee, our Master and God, who we send up glory day by day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, with thy holy body and thy eternal life, and thy precious blood, my remission of sin. Let this Eucharist be my joy, help, and gladness. Make me, who am a sinner, worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory and thy dread second coming. Prayers of thy most pure mother and of all the saints. O most holy lady, it is the the life of my darkened soul, my hope, my protection, my refuge, my rest, and my joy. I thank thee for all the I am unworthy, thou hast made me worthy to be a partaker of the most pure body and precious blood of thy son. Give the life of understanding to the eyes of my heart, thou that gave birth to the true light. Enlighten me from the death of my sin, and thou that gave birth to the fountain of immortality. Have mercy on me, O loving lover of the merciful God. Grant me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my thoughts, and release from the slavery of my own evening. And make me worthy, even to my last breath, to receive on the condemned the sanctification of the most pure mysteries, for the healing of soul and body. Grant me tears of repentance and confession, that I may praise and glorify thee all the days of my life. And thou art blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. Lord, now let us thou, thy servant, depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, the light and the might of the Gentiles, and the glory of thy temple, Israel. So be God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, and mercy on us. So be God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, and mercy on us.
us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto me, as it is, Amen. All who we can be, have mercy on us, who have come us from our sins, and has performed our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities, to thy name, sir. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto me, as it is, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom of the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto we should all ages. Amen. 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 Amen.